Tell us before we take a break about the typical things that you would take care of. Oh, sure. Just the, just for general topics, mm -hmm. and then we'll address them in detail mm -hmm. when we come back from our first break. So all of my patients are female, um, or at least have female genitalia. We mm -hmm. do take care of a, a broad spectrum of um, issues, everything from cervical cancer screening, birth control, um, menopausal symptoms, um, breast exams, um, well woman exams, which is basically just making sure that you're up to date on your general health as a female. Um, like osteoporosis, postmenopausal sure, osteoporosis. Sure. And then pregnancy. Um, we do talk to patients about preconception counseling if they have medical problems or certain medications they're concerned about the impact of um, those on pregnancy, um, sexually transmitted disease prevention. Um, treatment of sexually transmitted diseases. How about infertility? It is something that we can talk to patients about initially. I will say that within OBGYN, we do have some specialties that better address some of those issues. Um, reproductive endocrinology is something where a lot of times patients come to us, we ask a whole bunch of questions and then kind of help figure out what makes the most sense because it can be related to the man, it can be related to the woman, it can be related just to the frequency of intercourse um, or some medical problem um, that's preventing ovulation. So there's a wide gambit there. So in summary, if, if somebody uh, in our community has a, a, a challenge to their health care in any aspect of reproductive health or childbirth, um, they should come to you uh, and, and if they need to be channeled to a different direction, you can assist sure. with that. Right? It is one where I will advocate that a, a lot of our primary care physicians in the community do a great job of basic women health services. And so not every woman needs to see an OBGYN mm -hmm. um, just on a regular basis. It kind of depends on what type of doctor that you see as your primary care. Very, very true in my field as and well. And what services they offer. And so we do have a pretty high referral population because I, I do want to advocate that the mm -hmm. Primary care providers in our community can do some pretty basic things and then they know eh, this is kind of beyond what I normally take care of I think you should probably see a, a gynecologist or you're pregnant we don't take care of pregnancy we're gonna mm -hmm. get you to the folks that do right we've had some primary care people on our show and mm -hmm. um, and we find this community is very talented in taking mm -hmm. care of basic problems mm -hmm. and even more advanced problems. I, I have uh, uh, primary care providers who will send me patients that they've injected carpal tunnels for, which is not a common thing, um, or large joint injections. And that's wonderful that they have that expertise mm -hmm. and, and refer to us for patients who haven't successfully been managed very, very nicely conservatively. Mm -hmm. 